Hello, and welcome back. Today we're going to be making an achievement system. Very simple. And right here I have opened a blank project. It's a 2D project. You can do this in any project. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click and create a C sharp script. Uh, I'm going to call this Achievement Manager. And I'm going to open it up in Visual Studio. All right, so you may be wondering why we're making an achievement manager before, you know, how do we actually get such some achievements down? Well, before we do anything in this script, all I'm going to do is gonna, I'm going to delete its insides. And I'm going to go down here and create a public class uh, achievement. All right. Um, this class is going to be super, super simple. We're going to have a constructor, and we're going to have it's it, the only four properties are going to be a string title, uh, a string description, right? We're going to have a public predicate of object called requirement. Now it's going to give you an error right here, and this is very easy to fix. Hit Control Dot, or click this little um, light bulb, and use System. You don't even need to click the light bulb. You just need to be using System in your in your script. The last thing is a boolean called Achieved. Achieved. So these are the only four things you're going to ever need in here. And real quick, let's just go ahead and create the constructor so you know very simple we don't even need the achieved right here we only need the title description requirement and all we need to do is set this dot title to title this dot achieve uh, description to description and this dot requirement to requirement Okay, there are two more. There are two more uh, things we got to add into this class right here, and they're very simple to understand. Where we have one void called update completion, and this all it's going to do is it's going to it's going to check for an update. So first is if if we've already achieved the achievement, then we're going to return because we don't need to do anything. Otherwise, if and now this this is this is where it gets tricky, okay? We need one more thing, and we're gonna code by wish for a second. Requirements met. Then we're going to debug dot log, and we're just gonna log our. We're just gonna log a simple message: a title colon, a de the description, and that's pretty much it. Then we're going to set achieved equal to true, and that's all this function is. Now you may be wondering, what about this function? Well, I'm going to copy the function name, and I'm going to set make a new public boolean requirements met, and this has one line in it, return requirement dot invoke. And I'm just going to input null because we don't need it to invoke it with anything else besides itself. Okay. So we're messing with preterits here. It makes our life much easier. Um, and that's why the script is so compact. Predicates, you know, it's just it's just gonna be a statement. And it's asking what, what what's what do we need to check? Okay, so that's this is our entire achievement class right here. If you want to add in this right here is where you're gonna want to add any code to show it on screen. If you want to add an icon, you can add another property. But for now, I want to keep it as bare bones and uh, simplistic as possible so we can just have something to work with. This, um, next, we're going to be working with um, a list of achievements. And we're going to have um, just these debug 
properties. These are just going to be used for testing purposes. And let's start with the start function. What are we going to do? Um, First, we're going to make a function called initialize achievements. This is going to be very simple. It's going to ask, and just so we don't get anything messed up, if achievements is not equal to null, then we're going to return because we don't need to mess with it. Um, achievements equals new list of achievements. All right. And then we're just going to add some test ones. And this is where you might want to look because adding predicates is kind of confusing at first, um, but it makes sense later. We're going to add an achievement called step by step. You know, kind of funny. Set your integer to over 100. To or over 100. And this is how you write a predicate. You're going to want to go object O in parentheses equals, and you're going to make an arrow with an equals and a, and a greater than sign. And then you're going to want to put your statement in. In this case, my statement is integer is greater than or equal to 100. That is it. I'm just going to make, I'm going to copy that line and call it not so precise. And I'm going to call it set your float floating point to or over 1,000. Actually, I'm just going to make it 50. So there we go. We have two achievements in our achievement list. And, you know, we're so far so good. We're going to need two more functions and then an extra bonus function if you were sticking around for that. The last thing is we're going to make it, we're going to add the update and we're going to add a function called check achievement completion. All right. Make the function right there. Again, I'm hitting control period, control dot while so, while just having my cursor on that red line to just create the function. You can just do it manually if you would like. All right. Very simple final function. If achievements equals null, then we're going to return for no errors. And then we're just going to go and have a for each loop. For each achievement in achievements, we're going to go achievement dot update completion. We have basically finished. Here's a bonus function if you want to have this, you know, just to be for it to be handy. This is going to be a boolean achievement unlocked. It takes in a string achievement name. And we're going to create a bool results equals false. And we're going to return that result. Next, we're going to check if achievements is null. And we're going to return false if, it, if they are null. Right. Next, let's create achievement array achievements equals actually achievement array. Sorry about that. Equals achievements dot to array. Why are we doing this? Because we're going to go achievement a equals array dot find. And this syntax may be confusing, but it's pretty straightforward when you realize what it is. Achievements array. We're putting in an array. Now it's the predicate. I'm just shortening it the word achievement and ask if the achievement name equals to the achievement we're looking at dot title. Next, if a equals null, which means it doesn't exist, we're going to return false. And actually, we could just return the result right here and right here if we would like. But I'm just going to return false right here and right here. And finally, result equals a dot achieved. So if, if it's actually, if it exists, then you can see if it's been achieved or not. You can use this, actually, if you, are, if you have an achievement that requires a previous achievement. You can place this in here, as well as your requirement for the secondary achievement. Anyway, we're getting kind of off topic here. But I'm going to re-enter my scene, all right? 
I'm going to go ahead and create an object called manager. And you would like to make this object probably static and not destroy um, scene load. You probably want to make it save onto your, you have some indexes to save onto your drive, but we're not worrying about this right now. We're worrying about a skeleton. And right now our skeleton is supposedly complete. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the, uh, I'm going to hit play and nothing should happen, which is fine. That's what, what's supposed to happen. But the moment we change this integer, and we set it over 100, it's going to say, set your integer to over 100. You've completed the achievement. It would pop up a window, little celebratory sound effect. And note that if we go under and over again, it's not going to repeat that achievement because you only achieve stuff once. Same thing with the floating point. You set it over 50, and it gives us the achievement. And bam, we can set it down and up, and it still does not repeat the achievement. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the most basic achievement system for multiple achievements. Uh, again, if you don't want to check if your achievements have been completed every frame, you can check it on certain events. If you only have certain achievements on like boss deaths or enemy deaths, you can check it only then. And, you know, save some, some power, processing power. But this seriously doesn't take a toll on your system unless you have something really old. Anyway, hope that it was comprehensible. Hope you enjoyed, and make sure to check out in the description the GitHub repository. The GitHub repository has all the code inside of it. And if you're a copy-paste type of person, go ahead and copy-paste that code right in. Just make sure to understand it, because if it breaks, then, you know, you don't have a mechanic to fix it. Thanks for watching. Have an excellent day.